What's up, world? Lee here with Stick Strings and Other Things, my teeny tiny little corner of the internet where I come to you every other week to chit chat with you about all of the crafty things that I've been putting my hands onto. And as always, it is just knitting and stitching. There has been crochet, again, not enough to even bother showing. Eventually, I will have a huge stack of granny squares that I can show, but I don't know, I feel like five and ten isn't enough. Makes no sense, but that's that's where we live. Right. Today is the 2nd of April, and this is episode 81. Welcome. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. There are a few new subscribers, and I hope you like what you see. If you've been around, you, well, you know what to expect. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. So, where shall we start? It's a beautiful day. It is. Blue sky, a little bit of clouds. It's lovely. Still, so much pollen. So, so very much pollen. It is all pollen out there. Terrifying. Terrifying amounts of pollen. I wish. I wish there were less pollen so that I could actually enjoy going outside. But no. 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 That's not how it works. All the cat cans are almost off the elder, so we can cross our fingers that eventually I'll be able to leave the house without having my head swell up with pollen. I do have some tea living in this little mug of tea, which makes sense because it's tea, so therefore it is a mug and it is a mug of tea, mm. is some hazelnut chocolate chai or chocolate hazelnut chai. Not sure about the order of the first two words. I think it's chocolate hazelnut chai. Could be hazelnut chocolate. Does it really matter? No. It is tea from Plum Deluxe, and it's really pretty tasty. Granted, you have to like hazelnut, and you have to like chocolate. But that's in the name, so it would make sense. I'm enjoying it. And yes, I am using a lidded cup today because clumsy. My, my clumsy is at peak performance right now. And I figured all of my lovely, lovely projects around me, I didn't want to spill tea on it. So, lidded cup today. It is what it is. Shall we get into the actual reason we're all here? The fun things? I think so. I did. Finish my farmer's daughter's fiber sock squad socks for March. I did. These are the Altitude Socks by Curious Handmade, and I finished them on the 31st, and then immediately put them on my feet. So these have already been worn. They were not blocked. I just put them on my feet when I finished. Like, as soon as I finished trimming the last end, on my feet they went. They're quite pretty. I liked the... the detail here, the stripings, and yes, that is why they look a little bit baggy on the sock blockers, because they've already been worn for an entire day and have not yet been washed again, or at all, to be honest, because, yeah, I put them on my feet immediately after. It's okay. It's all good. They were fun. They're lovely. I like them, and I'm still three months in up to date with Farmer's Daughter's Fibers Sock Squad. Can she continue? Only time will tell. I failed last year, so only time will tell if I can do it this year. We can hope. We can hope. And yes, I found, I found my sock blockers. I put them in a smart spot. Therefore, I couldn't find them again. But when looking for something else, I found them. Ain't that the way. Clang. One moment. It's allergy season. <sighs> yes, this will be an, another video where there are lots of little choppy cuts because you don't need to see me sneezing. I don't need to share that. Let's get into the whips though. I have a couple some in the cross stitch world, some in the knitting world. The one that's right by my foot, knee, 
whatever, is some knitting. It is living in this lovely ginger snap bag, I'd think. This is my Uptown Tea by Tony or Tori Yi. Ugh, I had it on. I had it right last week. Last time. This is a t-shirt that I am working on that should be done, but I stopped working on it for about a week. I swear. And I do not have any progress markers handy right here. I didn't put a progress marker in last time either, so I may have to get up and fix that. This is being worked in the Grey Drizzle Fibers Rambouillet Drip Base in their colorway Corvid. And uh, that is where we are now. Yes. We have split for the sea, split, split for the sleeves a little while ago. This is just um, the waist yarn that my sleeves are on. And I am something like five inches down the body. And still loving that sleeve detail. One thing I have found, I do love working with Rambouillet. It is wonderfully squishy and delightful, but I just want this done and I'm not working on it for some reason that I have yet to figure out. Anyhow, I need to do something like four more inches as called for in the pattern, maybe three and a half more inches. One second. I have to do something like three more, three and a half more, four more inches as called for, depending on how much yarn I have. I'm, I'm fine, but uh, I might go a little bit longer. Um, I'm thinking just from the way this is feeling on my body that three more inches is going to be a little too cropped for me. We'll see. Uh, it depends on if I am choosing to only wear this over dresses. If I am choosing to wear this only over dresses, then a little too cropped is okay. However, if I want to wear it over a skirt, a little more length might be necessary. We will see. I will try it on when I get to that point. And I'm still loving it. I wish, again, as I often do, that you could feel the yarn because this is wonderfully squishy. I love the Rambouillet. It is a non-superwash Rambouillet. And this is a fingering weight project and I am using size US4 3.5 millimeter needles. I do not remember the size that I am working on, but it is the called for size for my size. I am not making it larger or smaller. And I'm loving it. Now I need to get all the yarn back into the bag because this bag is just, just big enough for a t-shirt. Technically a little too small. I do kind of have to cram, but I like the bag, so I'm using it for a t-shirt, even though I probably shouldn't. What else have I been working on cross-stitch wise? Let's see, because that's the next thing that's near me. I have my 100 stitches a day project, and that right now is Goth Chicken by Lindy Stitches. And so this is the one I've been working on, 100 stitches a day, every day. And that's where I am now. Yay! Yes, when I pulled it out, I was much less far than I thought I was going to be a reoccurring theme, I do believe. However, it is it is not straight in the Q-snap, so let me do that. <laughs> so the project looks straight. One or the other needs to be straight, and I'm not sure which one bugs me more. Anyhow, as you can see from last time, where I had just I think, this part and some down here, of the border. I have finished the border. I have finished the alphabet. And now I am down here writing the words goth and a chicken. I have not yet worked my 100 stitches for today, for I am trying to get this done early in the morning so that I have my day in front of me, whereupon I can do all the things that I need to do in my day. I am enjoying this. It is on a scrap of fabric, 40 count. I don't know what but I am using Leo and Roxy flosses. This is chalkboard. And I love it. Look at that. 
And right here, right here, the last thing I'm going to work on, because I'm going to do everything else first, the last thing is the giant goth chicken. Yes, it's a crow. Or a raven. It's a corvid of some kind. It's a goth chicken. And who knows what my next 100 stitches a day project will be. I may even be finished with this before the next time we see each other because I have no clue how much is left. But if I've done this much in the two weeks, what is left seems equivalent or less than. So I may be on to my next project by then. And since I'm not close enough to spin yet, I don't, ow, I don't know what it'll be. I just scratched myself. I don't know what it will be, like I said, because I, I, do these on a tiny decision wheel. Enjoying, enjoying a lot. What else have I been working on? Ah, yes. I was partly through one of my Whitgos last time we were here, and I was working on my Maidens of the Season by Mirabilia. And I was complaining about Summer's legs because I did them over one. Did I finish Summer's Legs? Did I? Did I? Let's find out. Oh, come on. I'm having a hard time with the fabric. It's not behaving the way I want it to. <clears throat> there we go. Thank you for behaving. Yes! She's got legs! She's got legs! Look! Legs! Yes! I finished the legs. They are over one and a pain in the butt, but they're gonna look gorgeous. I also finished up the rest of the border, minus any of the Krynik, just because I didn't get to that, and I did all of the green leaves. And then I stopped. I was all, okay, did my five days, I'm good. <laughs> I could have pushed and tried to do more on one of the days, but I didn't. When this one comes back out. I will obviously be finishing the rest of the cross stitch pretty easily and finish all of her back stitching and then I can move on to autumn. She's got legs! Legs! Look! Legs! Oh, she's so pretty even without the back stitching. And I know the back stitching is just going to make her pop because that's what happened with her sisters over here. So pretty. Mm. This is being done on a 28 count serendipity is the colorway. The fabric dyer was sugar maple fabrics. They are no longer in business and haven't been for a very long time. This has been a whip for a very long time, but, but we're working on it. We're getting there. You can go, you know. And then there was my second whip go, which I needed to pull out and work on. Originally, because this is my, my full coverage, this is my Middle Earth map piece. Originally, I had thought that I would do a page. No, that was lies, and so now all of my whip goes five days. Five days, that's it, five days. <laughs> so this is five days of work on Middle Earth map. I do parking, so there will be a lot of threads dangling. Just warning you for those that find that a little much. I started this and it was at 6.41% and I did, I don't know how many stitches, but I am now at 6.81%. So in four days, I did 0.4%. In five days, sorry. In five days, I did 0.4%. And I did quite a bit of stitches. I did one whole diagonal, and then partway through another diagonal, I stopped. I stopped halfway through, halfway through that block. I just, I just couldn't stitch anymore that night, and so went to bed. <laughs> you know, like you do. I am loving this piece. I am. It is just huge. I try to forget anytime I pull this out. I try, try really hard to forget that this piece of fabric <clears throat> is cut 
for the piece. That's how big it's going to be, if it ever gets done. I actively try to forget that fact when I pull this out. Just going to pretend. Just going to pretend that all this work is not 6%. I'm not even at 7%. But that's okay. I'm enjoying it. And yep. Oh, so good. So good. This is on my whip go a couple more times. I don't remember how many. And it will continue to be on my whip go every year until I'm finished. Or until I decide to stop doing whip go and I have to figure out another way to uh, work on it. Either way, I'm going to continue working on this one every single year because I like it and I like Tolkien and I want the map. So I will work on it. What else did you work on? So yes, I got both of my March Whip Go calls done in March. Barely. Barely. The uh, Middle Earth map one was squeaking up against, against the end of the month. Much like my socks. Squeaking up right against the end of the month. But both got done. So up to date on Whip Go and Farmer's Daughters. So I'm going to polish my halo and be happy. I have no clue what else I've worked on. Oh, right. <laughs> Did I bring it? I don't think I brought it. Um, hold on just a moment because I don't think I have my reading shawl here and I would like to show it as there has been progress and I didn't grab it. I'll be right back. We're back. My reading shawl. It has had some progress. I'm in the middle of a row. Not even the middle. I'm like at the beginning of a row. This is what happens when it's a work project. There we go. So here, here's my reading shawl. That marker shows where I was last time. So I have finished the rest of that gray stripe. I have then gone in and done these two colors did the next gray stripe and have just started this green stripe. I only have one row or garter ridge on it so it's kind of hard to see but two colors I am using right now are these two. Oh but yes <laughs> that's how far I am into the next row. <clears throat> so it's kind of hard to show. I'm loving it. It's wonderfully squishy and it's going to be wonderfully heavy. It's going to be one of those kind of shawls that you just wrap in and at home when you're just feeling chilled. It'll be delightful. I'm enjoying it. Let's see if I can show it off a little bit better. There we go. And then those are the new colors. Let me move my progress marker. This is my work project, so it gets some work there. I also have brought it to um, a game night and worked on it there. So there, now I have doo -doo -doo, my progress keeper marking my, well, progress. I have so many more, so many more stripes to go. And uh, that's okay. I am still on my first two balls of the nitpick stroll, though they are getting quite low. I think after the next time I use them in a stripe, I'm going to have to grab the next two to have them on hand. Oh, I should show. I do have the next two minis pulled. They're not wound yet because I'm not close enough. But I do have them pulled. Where's the other one? These are the next two minis. Da, da, da. So fun. So these will be the next two minis in my shawl. I love it. It's squishy. It's heavy. It's weighty. It's going to be great to wrap up in while reading a book and, you know, drinking some tea. It's on a 
cold, crappy day. Which, you know, we're moving into summer and, well, spring and then summer before we can get to the crappy days again. But that, sw that shawl is going to take me a while, especially if I only have it as my work project. It'll take a while because those rows are getting longer and longer and longer and longer. And that's okay. You're just always gonna see it while it's in the middle of a row. That that will be how that will live for a very long time, I have a, I have a feeling. Do, 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 do. That was on my whips. I do have a new start. I started this yesterday, for it was the first. And while it may be the day of lying, also known as April Fool's Day, the day you don't believe anything you read on the internet, Therefore, you don't go on the internet, because what's the point? I'm not a fan of April Fools, in case you couldn't tell. I like funny jokes. I like, like, the dad joke types of April Fool jokes. Anyway, I'm not a fan. <laughs> if you're a fan, yay. Yay for you. I'm not. But I did start the Celebrate All Year April from Black Needle Society. And I really enjoyed working on it, so I am mostly done. Evidently, April is Global Astronomy Month. And therefore, we have the planets. And yeah, I started this yesterday. I have about 350 something like that stitches left. I wanted to finish it yesterday. I was too tired, so I went to bed. But look at that, look. This is on a 32 count Belfast Navy. Mm. I was so enjoying working on this solar system. I, I just kept going and going and going and going <laughs> until we got to here. I'm finishing this up today. And if I'm feeling super rambunctious, I'm going to fully finish it today. Yeah, yeah, day two and I might be done. That's the goal, at least. We, we, we will see if that is actually how the day works, but that is the goal. I'm just really enjoying the solar system. It's so fun. Though, though, that sun, I wanted the rays out of it to be in fours. So four, 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 four. I kept seeing this as a Zuni sun symbol. <laughs> it was my problem. I kept looking at it that way. It's not a Zuni sun symbol, mind you, but that is what I kept seeing, and that is what I kept trying to stitch. <laughs> this is partly why I didn't finish it. I kept trying to turn this into a Zuni sun symbol. That's not. It's not. <sighs> so I had to, I had to rip the, the sun rays out like four different times. I kept trying to make them in groups of four. <sighs> Follow the pattern, Lee follow the pattern. But yeah, you can tell I don't have this or this or this. So I'm, I'm missing a couple planets still, but that is because I've been doing these. Um, I did this one specifically, but I have been trying to do these by color completion. I do all of the biggest color, then work my way down to the smaller colors. So that is how I've been working this. And I just, I couldn't even finish this Poor Mars. Poor Mars. Poor Mars has a little bit more stitching that needs to go in him, but I finished that red last night and went, it's bedtime. I'm a sleepy Lee, and I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, I love it. Look! Look at Jupiter! I haven't put Jupiter's red spot in either. I'll get there when it tells me to. It's so fun. I really enjoyed this one. I'm re or, it's not done yet. I'm really enjoying this one. And I like it. It's cute. And yes, as I said, if things go right today, not only will I finish stitching it, I'm going to fully finish it. It just, it's stitching up so fast. It, it's practically stitching itself. I love when projects do that. They, that just, they fly. Anyhow, that was my new start, which for my 50 and 50 starts, that doesn't count because the whole, the whole thing was the start. I'm not counting the individual ones as starts. 
which could be crazy. Yes, mom, it could be crazy, but that's how I'm doing it. It's fine. It's fine. Ah, tea. Mmm, it's so good. Now, we have plans. Plans, yes, plans. First, I'm going to show the two WIPGO projects that are called for this month. The first one will be Rites of Spring by Blackbird Designs. I, have, I started this when it first came out. Uh-huh. I think. Or I got all the things when it first came out. I don't... No, no, this was definitely a start. This was started. And I've hardly worked on it. Are my threads in here? Oh, <laughs> yes. My threads are in here. I was like, I don't see any threads. Oh, crap. Anyhow. So this is using the 30 count. Oh, really? That's as far as I am? Okay, this is sad. This is really sad, people. That's it. That's all I have. That's the start. It is... That's really sad. Anyhow, this is on my whip go, so this is going to get five days this month. Rides of Spring is also on my finish list for this year. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. My finish list for this year. <sighs> oh, Lee. Just because a project is old does not mean you've worked on it and it's anywhere close to a finish. Oh, well. Five days. We will see how far five days get me. Hopefully it will be a good chunk because this is pretty and I would like it to have some progress. Yes, I have, I have. My thread just sitting there. At least there's no needle. Can we at least agree with that? There's no needle, so I, I, I don't need to be whipped with wet floss. I really thought I was a lot farther than that. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight birds across the top and two swans at the bottom. Eight birds across the top. I have three. Three of eight. Three. Well, maybe I'll be, Maybe I'll be across the top in five days. I don't know. Who, know. who knows how much progress we'll make? Oh, that was disappointing and depressing. <laughs> my other whip go call is my lady's needle, M. Woods. I know how far I am on this one. It's not very. This is my teeny tiny, like 56 count project using super fine Vicky Clayton silks and that is where I am. I was working on this last year and I made a realization last year that has made this so much more enjoyable, the needle. I left the needle here because I don't know what size of needle that is all I know is this needle on this project makes this project work. I was fighting with other needles. The other needles, they just felt so big and the holes in here are so tiny. It wasn't working. And then I tried this needle, whatever it is. I think it's a beading needle of some kind. It is tiny. And all of a sudden, this project became a delight, an absolute delight to work on. So. I'm keeping the needle with this project because it was so nice to work on. I made so much progress once I changed the needle. Anyhow, M. Woods, this is where we're at.
and in case you don't know exactly what it looks like here is the project this one is an exact reproduction so if there's an over three you do it over three threads if it's over one thread you do it over one thread I really hope to God there are no over one parts because I am using the teeniest tiniest itty bitty little fibers fabric this fabric is one second do, do, do. They're technically calling it a 50 count, though it's 42 one direction and 62 the other. I don't know how that becomes a 40, 50 count because because it's an uneven weave. At the very least, it's a 52 count. And the very most, it's 62 count. So it's somewhere in there. It's tiny, like I said. It is Lakeside Legacy Vintage Meadow Rue. And it's teeny. And I love it. I do, now that I have the right needle. Now that I have the right needle, I love it. So, this one will get five days on it. I will be, do I have both, let me check. Yes, I have both levels of alphabet. <laughs> so I will start on this border and we'll see. I will see how far I can get through this next band. It is slow going because of the size. So if I could get through this entire band in five days, I will feel like a rock star is what I will feel like. Because um, it, it is, it is, even with the right needle, it is still slow going because eyeballs, mine, not good, tiny, need to finish soon, or eyeballs get worse, this gets harder. That's how that works. But yes, I think this is a beautiful project and I'm really excited to get back to it. And I really hope those letters are not over one. <laughs> if they are, well, we will cross that bridge when we get to it, which is a far ways away. Oh, yes. So, yeah, my, my hope, my hope is that in the five days I will get through that border. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I do not know if I will ever do another... I actually have things on 50 count. 50 count is fine. It's the 5262. I'm not so sure about. <laughs> we will see. That is my other whip go. I will, of course, be pulling out No Time Like the Present from Modern Folk Embroidery. I will show you where I'm at. This is where we are starting for our April bit. I will do 4,000 stitches on this for April. I will be working mainly in this Starfield back here. That is my plan for April. 4,000 stitches in that and however far that takes me. I do love that piece. I cannot wait to get back to it. It will be the piece that I work on after I finish my Celebrate All Year April. So depending on how today goes, who knows? Maybe I'll start No Time Like the Present tonight. Unlikely. Rather unlikely. <laughs> but a girl can wish. Other plans. I have planned new starts. I do, I do, I do. I'm going to mainly focus on the planned three new starts that I have before the next time I see you. I have, I think it's two things that I want to start after I film next time, which I might flash real quickly, but I have three, maybe four planned new starts for this next two weeks. And as always, sometimes plans are lies, and we will see if I actually start four new things in the next 14 days. We'll see. We'll see. 
living in here are the two things that I want to start on the 8th. Originally it was, oh, I want to do a new moon, new start. New moon's on the 8th. And then there's an eclipse. I believe it is also on the 8th. And I went, well, I need to do an eclipse start too. So now I'm going to have two starts <laughs> because I think those things are both happening on the same day. If I'm wrong, please let me know and I will do them on separate days. The days that they happen is the goal. What are my plans? Well, you've seen this because I've been wanting to start it for a while since I still haven't started it. I figured something to do with the moon because it's a new moon. The eclipse is moon-ish too kiss moon. Anyway, these both have to do with the moon. Moonbeam tea. Yes, yes, I'm still, still in my basket, still wanting to start it. I've actually pulled the fabric and cut it to size and it's all ready for me. So this is one of my starts that I want to do for the new moon eclipse time. And the other one is summer moon. I have spring moon, summer new moon, and winter moon. I know that summer and winter are kitted. I don't know if spring is kitted, but I know the other two are. So I have this one. It's all kitted and ready to go. And so this will be my other start because the bunnies are ridiculous. I love these. I love these with the giant houses and the giant bunnies. They make me happy. And that's why I bought them. So yes, this is the second one that I would like to start, most likely on the 8th. Anything I start has to have a minimum of 250 stitches put in it for me to consider it a start. Otherwise, it's not really a start. It's, it's like a thought. <laughs> it's a, eh, I was thinking about starting this. There's 10 stitches in it. That's not a start for me. If it is a start for you, you do you. Have fun. For me, I have to have at least 250 stitches in it to call it a start. So, I believe the 8th is a Sunday. I might actually have some stitching time. I might be able to start two things and do my 100 stitches. Because that's, that's, that's a bit of stitching in a day. Alright, my other start that I'm going to do. Oh, <laughs> I have an old tag for an old uh, fabric. This is no longer in this project. I need to get rid of it, lest I think it's right. So what is living in here? This is living in here for the um, start I want to do on the 15th. Ann Kirby, 1845. So I watch Emily C. and I watch the Disorderly Stitcher. They are doing a stitch along for Ann Kirby. They are starting on the 15th. I also have Ann Kirby. It is, ow, it is all kitted up with the 40 count hogs, breaths, hogs bristle and the cotton. I'm doing the over dyed cotton. They're hiding inside. And there's one DMC. There's the pretty colors. The pretty colors on the hog's bristle. I know not everybody likes the hog's bristle. They like see the colors on the hog's bristle. And a lot of, I know a lot of people are like, mm, I, I decided to go some to a different color. I believe um, Disorderly Stitcher did that. Uh, I'm going to just go with the hog's bristle because it's pretty and I like it. And it's already kitted and it's all ready. So. And Kirby. I'm going to start this on the 15th because I'm going to join them for their stitch along. They don't know I'm joining them for their stitch along, but they said people can join them. So I'm hopping along and joining them. They don't know me from anything, but I'm, I'm going to add myself to their stitch along. So Emily C. Disorderly Stitcher, neither one of you watch me. I'm joining you. You gave me a reason to start this. Thank you. I approve. Anyhow, this will be fun. The fact that this was done by an eight-year-old still just... <sighs> really? She was eight. Aged eight. Aged eight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that peacock. That peacock. Look at that peacock. He's so fun. 
<sighs> right. So this is my planned start for the 15th of the month because I'm, I'm joining the stitch along. And let me put this back, back in the bag, back in the bag, back, back in the bag. And I will take it out of the really awful crinkly paper because I don't like the really awfully crinkly paper. So yes, I do have a bag in a bag because the bag is holding the threads and the fabric. And then the bag is also holding the pattern that, and the bag that holds the, it's bagception. Anyhow, this is my 15th. And I'll be seeing you shortly after that for my next, my next filming. But I'm thinking I might start my April wordplay also sometime this month, maybe. I've done January, February, March, and then no more. So I may or may not start this one sometime this month. We will see. If I start this, I want to finish it. I, I would like these to be starts and finishes. And with everything else on my plate, that doesn't seem likely. However, it's a maybe. And it's in this giant bag because all of the word plays that I haven't done are in here, including all of the threads. Every single one of the threads for every single one of them is in here. It makes for a big bag. All right. Now I'm going to quickly flash thing, the two projects that I would like to start near the end of the month, because these are either going to be for Earth Day or Arbor Day, depending. This one will likely be done, started on Earth Day. That's the vague plan, because forest, earth, there we go. I haven't looked at the day of Earth Day, so not sure. This one, I know, 150,000% is being started on Arbor Day. Arbor Day is the 26th, so technically I'll be starting this on the 24th, or the 27th, because I work on the 26th, and nothing gets started on a Friday that I work. Nothing. But I have been wanting to start a forest crew for an age and a half, and I have everything in here. I have this, so that I can start doing that. <laughs> yes, I have all the DMC just in a bag, but eventually I'm going to move them over to to floss drops. No, I don't have enough floss drops here, but I have enough floss drops existing in the house that are empty. So I will have giant rings of DMC <laughs> and my fabric, which I will triple check is big enough. But um, my plan is to use Albarium by Cedar River. I will check before I start. I will check yet again <laughs> that this is big enough. This is the thing I always do anytime I start a project, especially one that is big. I check like six times. Is the fabric big enough? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it really? <sighs> yes, some paranoia. But yeah, that's all. All the flosses. And I will be... I've owned this pattern for a long time. I owned this pattern when it was $15. I don't know what it costs now. I doubt it's $15. I will be changing the saying. The words in the middle will not say what they say there. I will be changing it and very likely what I want to put in there will end up, that I need to chart, uh, will end up having to be over one. But that is because I, I know what I want to put in there. I just need to chart it. Oh, it's going to be so fun. Anyway, those, you, you got a lot more about that one because I, I went off on it. Um, those are my plan starts after the next time. Just one moment. I will be right back. I'm tired of allergy season already. I really am. I'm tired of sneezing all the time, having watery eyes. and <sighs> Okay, the plants are pretty. The plants are pretty. They are. I love all the blooming stuff. But trees, really, you need to calm it down. 
you do. Let us get to stash, of which I have more than I should. Every single time. I'm going to start with my Roxy Flosco flosses that I got for April. I already received April. I know. It was quick. I, they were in my post, post office box yesterday. It was great. So let us start with the neutrals. This is Black Forest. Oh, I don't think you're going to be able to see it. This is a gorgeous green black. That is a good color. I am a super fan of that color. This is Hemlock. Ow! <laughs> thorn. This way. Yes, Thorn. Pond Stone. Teal of the Day. Those are lovely. So those are the neutrals. And then we have the brights. We have Kiss and Tell. Croquette. Dried Lavender. Wow, that actually does kind of look like dried, la dried lavender. Lilac Field. Ooh. And Regalia. Mmm, this is a really, really gorgeous dark, dark purple. It's kind of coming up black, much like the, uh, that dark, dark green. Black Forest. Oh, I really love Black Forest. Let me see. Can you? No, it's just coming up weird brownie. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous green. Anyway. And those are some lovely flowery berry colors. So there's my Roxy Flosses. I also received, there we go, my, let me take it out of the bag, crinkling. I remembered to do the Roxy Flosses. I didn't remember to do my V Stitch Me Gold Rush. Look at that. Look at that. That is fun. Oh, I still have not started my Odysseus piece. Hmm. I wonder if this would be a better, better one than the flan I was thinking of. Oh, anyway, so <laughs> I like that color. It is fun. It is a fun gold. That was that. I did get Number four in the Fabulous House series by Cottage Garden. It is the Cottage. I do not have these on auto ship. I'm just purchasing them in case there's one that I didn't like. Or some that I didn't like. So far, I've purchased all four. And then I've seen number five. It's the Hobbit House. Yeah. I pretty much knew no matter what I was going to be buying that. Unless they messed it up massively and... I like their designing. I did not think that they would mess up the Hobbit House. So, when the Hobbit House is actually for sale, I will be purchasing the Hobbit House. <sighs> They're so pretty. You know, I keep buying their series. I bought all of their, their fun animals last year. Was that last year? No, that was the year before. I didn't care for the snowmen. And then they're doing the houses. You think I should start one of them? What do you think? Tell me below. Should I start one of these lovely, lovely pieces? Maybe. With these, I haven't decided yet if I want to do it all on one piece or not. So maybe I do need to wait until all of these are out because that will depend on how much fabric I need and what the layout would be. Because if there's only one I don't like, I can't put them all on one fabric. You'd notice there'd be one missing. If two are ones I don't like, maybe, maybe I could work. Yeah, okay, I may have to wait till all these come out, depending on if I want to do it all on one fabric or not. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, 
this is the cottage. It is sweet. It will join Santa's house and the castle and the greenhouse. I remembered the four. And then there's this one. And then as soon as I can, I will be purchasing the Hobbit house. <laughs> it's a Hobbit house. Oh, sorry for, for rattling your world there. Just was very excited about a Hobbit house. I also received my April skein of Farmer's Daughter's Fibers Sock Squad. And this is their Bighorn Sock Base, which is a superwash merino and nylon, 75-25. It is the super soft, because it's what, 19.5 microns? It's super, super soft. So this is the one that I did, oh, here's the color. Uh, this is the one I did as a cowl last time. This time I'm going to probably make it a shawl. I'm not very excited about the color because we kind of already just did this color last month. It's very, very similar. It's the same kind of color as last month. They did this last year too, where they did a couple months in a row that were kind of the same color. And that prevented me from finishing the, the series. Um, I, I've already decided I won't be doing them next year. Um, I love their yarns. I do but I would prefer to choose my colors from them from now on. I do love the sock squad. I, I have plans for how to have a monthly sock for myself next year, um, but it will not be the farmer's daughter sock squad. This is called Out of the Mouth, Out of the Mouths of Babes. And it's a fine color. It's a peachy kind of color. I am thinking of doing the, oh, is it called Simple Things shawl? I'm doing a shawl. I think it's called Simple Things. It's by Espastrico. It's just a simple little shawl. And it will use the mini as well. I will be starting that pretty soon because I, again, want to get these finished in the month that I get them. And the Simple Things shawl is a simple thing. And I would like to get it on the go. I mean, it's still a lovely color. Don't get me wrong. It is. It is. It is a lovely color. There's some really super delicate. I don't know if you can even see it. There's some super delicate speckling right here. I, I mean, throughout the skein, but that's a good spot of it. Um, it's a lovely color. It's just we kind of already just did this color. That's my complaint. Like the color is pretty. It's lovely. The yarn is delicious and squishy and nice. I like these things, but we just did this color. And part of the fun is different colors in my opinion. Take it or leave it as you will. It is just my opinion. It doesn't mean it's right, except for me. It's right for me. It doesn't mean it's right for anybody else. I am. That's that and it needs to get wound up so I can start it soon. And then I, 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 I need caffeine fortification for this one. I went out to um, Church Mouse Yarn and Tees. They had an open house at their new facility out in Kingston. And I did that on, on, on Saturday. Lovely. It was great to see everyone. I got to say hi to people and chit chat. And it was, it was absolutely fantastic. It was beautiful to see their new place and all the new yarns they've caught, pulled in and to see some of the new samples that they've created in the last few years. I'm, I'm so happy for John and Kit. They're doing great. They're, 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 they're excited again, and that is wonderful to see. So went out and did that. And then because we were out there on the peninsula, we decided to do a couple other things, one of which was go to Port Gamble. And uh, if ever you're in Port Gamble, there's a, there's a, there's a restaurant called the Butcher and something. The Butcher and something. I don't remember the name. Um, obviously, if you're vegan, you shouldn't go there. It's got the word butcher in the name. Kind of conclude in that probably it isn't going to be vegan. Um, go there and eat. There will be a line. It will be busy. Go there. Eat. Get some of the pastries. Just saying. Anyway, Port Gamble's a cute little logging company town. It's adorable. You, you don't even need a full day. Just long enough to wander around a little bit and have lunch. And then you can leave. But 
but Port Gamble also has the Artful U. E-W-E. Yeah, that would be a yarn store. And she has luscious, delicious yarns. And she doesn't charge enough for them. These were really inexpensive. This is 100% Peruvian alpaca. Each skein is 700 yards. It's sport weight. I'm making myself a colorwork sweater. Yes, I am. Oh yeah. Am I starting a colorwork sweater pretty soon? Yeah. Yeah, I likely will be. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to finish my uptown tea and one of my shawls before I start this. But this is like really high up on my I need to start this now list. Is it almost summer? I mean, by the time I get to this, it will be much closer to summer than, than spring. Am I going to be starting an alpaca colorwork sweater in the summer? Very likely. Is it stupid? 1000% so, yes. Am I going to do it anyway? Very likely. If it gets too hot, no way can I work an alpaca. It, it just gets... You get sweaty. <laughs> But I am trying to figure out which color sweater I want to start. It's likely to be a Steingass, um, Jennifer Steingass sweater. There's a couple different ones. So likely, very likely, it will be a yoke, colorwork yoke um, sweater. But there's like 20 billion of them uh, that I want to start. I just have to figure out which one. Look at these colors. Aren't they gorgeous? I wish so much that you could feel how soft this sweater will be. I mean, the yarn is soft, so the sweater will also be soft, but this is so wonderfully soft. <sighs> Anyhow, if you're a knitter and you go out to Port Gamble to eat at the Butcher and Baker, I don't remember, and see the cute little tiny little town of Port Gamble, and you're a knitter, you need to go into the artful you. You do. You definitely do. Because she has three adorable, adorable dogs. Absolutely sweet. Little greyhound type dogs. I didn't ask, but they looked like greyhounds. Very sweet. And um, much beautiful, beautiful yarn. Most of all, her yarn is very non-superwash. Um, it's all natural colors. These are, these are undyed. Uh, she has dyed colors as well, but it, it, they're all very much more the non-superwash, the um, more, I would say rustic, but this is so soft. It's hard to say the word rustic when holding such softness, um, <laughs> but more, more organic, more organic yarns, if that's even a term. Um, she does have her opinions, on, on, I, I, I happen to agree with her opinions, but she does have very strong opinions on blocking and doing gauge swatches. I agree with her opinions of do a gauge swatch, actually wash and block it, not steam, wash and block. These are opinions that I hold. So she may share those opinions with you. One of her other opinions is that she would like for people to be able to work with really nice yarns without price being as big of a hindrance. I mean, she can't give it away for free, but she does price her yarns in a way that they are more affordable. She does not have an internet presence. It is very much a, you walk in and if you're in the area of Port Gamble, Washington, <laughs> You're not going to be in the area of Port Campbell, Washington. You have to go there. <laughs> Anyhow, yarn. Did I need the yarn? No. Do I need this colorwork sweater? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. I need to hide this yarn from my cat Phoebe because she steals alpaca yarn. She th she's a thief. She's a thief. She will take the entire thing and hide it in like her cat bed because she's 
she is an alpaca thief is what she is. So I have the door shut so she's not in here right now, which is why these get to be out here and living and free. But as soon as <laughs> they need to go and like, into a bag, into another bag, and then up high. Otherwise, she will find them. This is what she does with anything I make from alpaca as well. I have to hide it from her. If I don't, she steals it. She tried to steal one of my half and half wraps. It has wool and linen and alpaca. She found that there was alpaca in it and was like, oh, this is mine. Mm -mm. No, it ain't. Anyhow, I'm going to have to hide these from my cat. Let she steal them. Right. That, that is, that is, that is a very naughty stash. I cannot wait to start that. Mm, have to. I'm determined to finish some of my knitting projects before I, I start that one. But if I do it right and work on it through the winter, summer and fall, I'll be able to wear it this winter. Probably not at work because it'll be too warm for me, but maybe. I'll just have to wear a tank top underneath and be willing to just wear the tank top at work. <laughs> so that is all the stash and that is all the plans. So life. I told you a little bit. I, I, I went to Church Mouse and, and Port Gamble. I also went to Paulsbo. There's Sully's uh, Bakery in Paulsbo. Every year in Paulsbo. Again, not a likely thing, but if you are, there's a bakery called Sully's. You should go there. They have delicious food. They have delicious bakery, ba ba baked goods, pull apart bread, and sticky buns, and all sorts of lovely, delicious yummies. Anyhow, um, did that. <laughs> Other than that, life has stopped lifing at me. Now it's just being a life. Like, it's just a normal, normal. Everything's, everything's boring again. <sighs> Oh yes, everything's boring again in my life. This is where I like things to be. Things have calmed. Body is working again. Things are not weird. The foot thing, it stopped. Never figured out what it was, but it's gone. So do I care? Not really. As long as it doesn't come back, all is well. We, we got our, our yard tested for arsenic and lead because of where we live odds of it being absolute poison was high and we kind of wanted to garden. Um, it's not absolute poison. We, we can actually put things in the ground as long as we also put a lot of fresh soil into the ground with it. So not as bad as it could be because it could have been you only can use raised beds with a solid bottom. That, that was the other option. We were not that bad. We are at the no no you should be fine as long as you put fresh soil and compost in with anything that you're growing. We, we, we think you should be okay. So thumbs up. We can actually garden. Um, all my seeds are in my greenhouse now and they are growing like gangbusters, which is fantastic. I think I'm going to do another round of, of seedlings for some of them probably this week uh, as I'm transplanting the seedlings out into pots that go into my greenhouse. And it's lovely. I'm having fun. I decided to plant a little bit of rhubarb. Um, I did put that in a pot because I wasn't sure yet if we were able to put it in a ground thing. I, mm -hmm. You don't want to eat arsenic and lead, right? You, you, you just don't want to do it. Lead actually we're fine with. It's the arsenic that's the problem. But lead is worse. But anyhow, I didn't want arsenic poisoning. <laughs> Seemed like a smart thing planted it in a pot because you can container grow rhubarb uh, start so hopefully in a couple of years I'll be able to have some some good rhubarb to to harvest I'm trying to fight back some ivy need to mow no, not me my partner does the mowing it ruins my wrist so I, I really can't in a pinch I can, but it's really rough on my, 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 my wrist, my body. Um, a carpal tunnel from a car wreck years and years and years ago. And so the vibration really is bad. Um, I can pull it off if I like brace it and wrap it and do a whole bunch of stuff. So they just take care of it. Other than that, life is pretty lifey, normal, good, happy. I'm, I'm 
ever hopeful that I can sit outside soon because I want to because it's pretty out. But the pollen is still a little too high, so we'll, we'll wait a little longer. And I've been talking a whole lot. I've sneezed a bunch and had to pause a million times, so I don't even know how long this is. And I think I'm rambling now. But Oh, I, I'm going to show you something real quick. When I complain that the, the, the yarns are similar, this is last month's. This is this month's. This is why I made the complaint of they're just too similar. Like, still pretty, still lovely. I like it. Wish it wasn't so pink. That, that's a me thing, though. It's still a pretty color. But this is why. I made the complaint. Anyhow, I'm going to let y'all go. I hope you enjoy. I hope to see you all in two weeks and you can see if I've actually finished Goth Chicken. I think I will. I think I will have finished Goth Chicken. I will definitely have finished and fully finished my April Celebrate All Year by then and I can show that off to you. And maybe, maybe I'll have been really rambunctious and have gotten all the way through my, um, no time like the present and I'll have started maybe three objects and who knows what else I'll have done. The world is my oyster and I shall open it. Okay, I don't know where I was going with that one. <laughs> I, yeah, okay. I, I lost myself there. I, I, I have no clue where that was going. I will let you go. I'm going to get busy and doing all the rest of the things that I need to do. I wish you all a wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful month, and happy crafting. Bye, all.